even the charlatan you asked for low-income housing and some jobs. That does not fucking help the situation where cops should all have a camera on their vehicle, should be trained how to fucking point it at the person in question with it on your fucking jacket pointing at or lined up with your gun if you have to pull it out. So when you see it on there and, and the public wants to see an immediate result of what you fucking do, then they can see it. Donald, you should have focused on the five personal connection of people who died because of Hillary. You should have focused on Hillary getting off a rapist of 41 years old who raped a 12 year old back in 1975 and how she laughed about it and how there's a tape of her laughing about it. You should have focused on the Whitewater scandal of both of them and emphasize the fraud and destruction that these fucking people caused to thousands and thousands of people who were trying to get fucking homes that they fucking took advantage of. You should have focused on Hillary being part of the Watergate committee. Yes, the same one that fucking put Nixon in jail, getting caught with tape about how he rigged the fucking system because she was fired for fraud and for bad ethics. That's what you should have fucking focused on. And as soon as something came out of her mouth, you should know how to fucking rebut. You put people in the right frame of mind, i.e., when I was a stockbroker, it's a great example. You're trying to go back and forth with someone to convince them that you're right. And I'm going to give you an example. Mr. Jones, okay, instead of, let's say, buying a 1,000 shares and putting $100,000 into this idea, let's do this. Let's go with a half a million dollars, okay? You'll make less as the stock trades higher, but on the flip side, you stand to lose less because you don't have as much exposure. I'm going to go back to the stop loss order. I put what's called a stop loss order on your ticket. Do you know what it is? Yes, no. It's an automatic sell ticket that goes out there, executing the stock if I'm wrong, protecting your downside. On the flip side, if the stock goes from 7, where it is right now, to 17, and you make 10 points on 500 shares and make that money, I'm not putting you in retirement, uh, in retirement, right? He goes, no. I said, on the flip side, if you lose it a couple of points on 500 shares and lose $1,000, uh, you're not going to be too happy with my performance, but you'll appreciate the fact that it didn't go to zero and you lost all of that money. And on the flip side, $1,000 is not going to put you on a bread line. Am I right? No. Yeah, you're right. Okay, exactly. So it'll show you that I can get you in and get you out of the market, show you that I can put you in the right direction. On the flip side, though, if I am right, if I am right, do you see how I pause there? You pause and you grab somebody in. If I am right and the stock does exactly what I say, all I ask of you is that you take me serious, we, we buy some stocks that we can get some exposure and maximize your potential and you get me three referrals. Is that fair? And he says, yeah, that's fair, great. How do you want to title this account? You close. You close. You close. And you put the audience in perspective. Let's say this. Let Hey, everybody. Tell me how you'd feel knowing that if I was the president and we had a few hostages in Iran and they were trying to get $1.7 billion of our money to get them out. How would you feel if I did not expand on every possible technical aspect because I've got some of the best trained soldiers and ops to go in there. You guys all seen what happened when we got Saddam Hussein. You seen the video. Am I right or wrong, everybody? Yes, we are right. Okay. What if I was able to do that and surround the areas and, and get the um, information that I needed to go and do that? Would you rather me do that? Or do you want me just to go give them $1.8 billion so now, knowing that they are in the midst of getting nuclear warheads, knowing that they breed this fucking hate because they want to read the Quran 
that believes in Sharia law and a prophet these people follow Muhammad who was a fucking terrorist because he got kicked out of his land and Israel took him in and he became a political figure and then he brought all those people into that and then they went and said you know what why take the horse when you can have the carriage philosophy which one would you rather do well Hillary and Obama gave them $1.8 billion. Would you rather me take that $1.8 billion and put it into programs to train our police so they don't shoot innocent people? How much money would you bet you just fucking convinced the audience? That, Mr. Trump, is how you fucking do it. I am Katsunyam, and I am passionate about life. As you can tell, I have zero tolerance. My motto, I am pro-choice. I am pro-freedom of speech. I am pro-guns for law-abiding Americans. Not these fucking thug guys knowingly walk around with a gun. I am for our Constitution and Bill of Rights. I am anti-Hillary. I am anti-Sharia law. I am anti-terrorism, and I am anti-fucking handouts. I have zero tolerance to your bullshit, and I will call you out on it. And if you don't like it, come knock on my door. You're listening to Katsunyama on The Jay Stone Show. I hope you had some fun listening to me rant. You can check us all out on Twitter, Facebook, MySpace. I'm on the Reverb Nation charts on the radio there. And other stations, as well as this one. With that being said... Yama! 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 Do you hear the sheep? Don't be a sheep. Don't follow the herd. Be in the forefront. Use your common sense. Make a conscious effort to protect America and our way of life. I beg you people to be a voice and stop the rape and pillaging of the Clintons. So I don't feel alone on the way to the storm. This is Pink Floyd. Animals. Somewhere safe to bury my body. Because I have to block animals on Facebook people I've known for years cause you're just fucking stupid don't be stupid a shelter we need shelter from pigs on the from wing from pigs on the wing and I'm out
Jake Stone, it's the Jake Stone Radio Show. Jake Stone, Jake Stone Radio Show. 